Ciao ragazzi, Bruno here for Inter Worldwide and it's approximately two hours, two and a half hours following the Mönchengladbach game where we ended the game in a 2-2 draw. Um, overall, I thought when the uh, initial lineups came out, Hakimi testing positive prior to the game to COVID-19, um, you know, I thought there was going to be problems. And I think that was probably the best thing that could have happened to Inter today. Uh, Damian got his Inter debut and starred in a Champions League clash where he most probably, other than our goal scorer Lukaku, was man of the match. Um, he was all over the park. He dropped back well in defence and he pushed up when needed. Uh, Inter's defence did look shaky. Um... It was unfortunate that uh, penalty. Uh, I believe the Fry just panicked and gave it straight to Munchen Gladbach and gave uh, and gave Vidal no chance and uh, gave the penalty away. Um, as well as that, their second goal potentially could have been offside. Um, initially, I thought it was definitely offside, but in saying that, into the second goal. <laughs> You, you know, it, it's sort of, all right, we'll give that one to Inter as well. Um, Handanovic, wow, very lucky not to be sent off. Very lucky not to be sent off. Um, Conti did make a surprise substitute in the 45th minute, which, which I really did like. He brought on Martinez for Alexis, um, took off Alexis, brought on Martinez, and I think what he did, um, what he did do well was he realised we're getting nowhere and um, and he changed it up a bit. Um, overall, the performance was good, but I feel like I'm, I'm going to say this a lot this season. We're not taking our chances. Martinez hit in the post. Damian had a great couple of shots on target. You know, we're not taking the chances that are there for us. Ericsson played well um a lot of people are very critical of him but you've got to remember this is a player who has not been given the opportunity to find his rhythm this season um you know he, he's been very you know static last minute you're on the field you're not on the field blah 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 um some people will blame COVID. some people will blame the fence some people will blame Conti. I feel like Inter has lost their Grinta. The Grinta they had last season, that motivation, that big spark. If we don't get uh, three points against Genoa, there are big questions surrounding Inter's campaign as well as our manager's position at the club. Um, the worst thing that potentially happened for us this morning was Real Madrid losing 3-2. That is three points given to Shatka Donetsk. And knowing Real Madrid, they'll probably win their other five games. So, uh, it is uh, going to be a tight race for second place. Uh, but yeah, shot ourselves in the foot again. I predicted an Inter 2-1 victory. It was 2-2. Unlucky that we didn't get that third goal. Lucky we didn't concede that third goal. But overall... Nothing to be proud about, but there were some glimpses of good um, performances. There were some glimpses of what could potentially eventuate down the track. Um, so, look, Forza Inter, Forza Inter Worldwide. Let's look forward to Genoa. Um, it's going to be very interesting. Going to be very interesting. Until then, ciao.